always knew they were out there. Those crater types are tough. Hello, Russell Dorsey, Brotherhood Initiate. Welcome to Fort Atlas. Formerly the Atlas Observatory, now headquarters for the Brotherhood of Steel. Well, this is Fort Atlas, new headquarters of the Brotherhood of Steel in Appalachia. The Brotherhood's in the process of getting everything in order here. But already, people from all over Appalachia are turning up. Some need help, some want to join, but it seems like everybody's curious what comes next. I just say what Paladin Romani says. We're here to help. Me? Oh, I'm just a guy who wanted to be a part of something special. A place to do something that really mattered. I picked up the messages the Brotherhood were broadcasting on the way here, and I came out ahead to help set up the place, hoping they'd let me join. They liked my initiative, and now I'm an initiate. Nice bit of symmetry, I thought. Of course, what you want to know? The Brotherhood of Steel is a... Well, I guess you'd call it a military organization. Founded originally out in California around when the bombs fell. We're dedicated to rebuilding society and preserving old technology. Keeping the mistakes of the past from being repeated, you know? One of the members from California could tell you more, I'm sure. Oh, it's an honor. I know that sounds like some recruiting poster nonsense, but really, it is. I finally feel like I'm part of something meaningful. Building a better world alongside other people who've committed their lives to that cause. Sure, sometimes it means doing guard shifts in the rain, but hey, small price to pay for real purpose, right? Pretty sure that strategic information I'm not supposed to just give out to anybody that asks. <laughs> Uh, looking to sign up? Or just curious? Well, either way, I guess it's not me you want to talk to. Most of the fort's off-limits to civilians, but if you're interested, Knight Shin's in charge of the new recruits. He's very serious about protocol and security, so you'll have to speak to him first if you want to get anywhere. Brotherhood's always looking for good tech, if we can find it. real duties to attend to. The outer perimeter is still insecure, the provisions aren't properly stowed, and we're awash in hopefuls. I have no time to be babysitting civilians. Your duties are what I say they are, Knight. Your objections are noted, but this is a direct order from your commanding officer. Help us put on a good face for the local people. We've just moved into their backyard. They're nervous. 
Show them we mean no harm. If you insist, Paladin. If there's nothing further, I'll have the completed report on your desk shortly. I expect nothing less from you. As you were, Shin. Paladin. Do not attempt to access the secure parts of this facility, civilian. We are watching you. Go home. If you're here with a request for the Brotherhood, get in line. I don't have time for you right now. That was a Brotherhood matter, civilian, and none of your concern. You're trying my patience, so get on with it. Knight Daniel Shin, Brotherhood of Steel, First Expeditionary Force. We've got important work to do here, so get to the point. Did he? Initia Dorsey is supposed to be manning his post at the entrance, not acting as my secretary. That is within the scope of Paladin Romani's directives. It takes more than just asking, of course. You would have to prove yourself. If you are sincere about wishing to join our ranks, you would have to earn the approval of the officers here, including me. Is that why you're here? Another hopeful dreaming of service to the Brotherhood. If you mean that, then you are right. But if that's sarcasm, I recommend you stow it. Immediately. Normally, I might stick you with the other hopefuls until we decide whether you're worthy. But, if you're serious about joining us, you've got good timing. There's something you could do for me that would help the Order and demonstrate your qualities as a candidate. We've had a number of civilians show up here at Fort Atlas, asking for one thing or another from the Brotherhood. People are afraid, or want something, or are looking to involve us in local squabbles. Civilian outreach is not my specialty. There's too much left to do to secure this facility. If you're really interested in helping, save my time. Interview the petitioners, find out what they want, and report back to me. This right. Don't make me regret giving you the opportunity. Conduct yourself properly, and we can consider putting you forward as an initiate candidate. I am not a receptionist, civilian. I have actual work to do. The California members show no signs of infectious disease from outside. You better have something useful to say to me. I just told you who I am. I already told them that when I got here. Nobody's listening in this place. I came here so that they can make things right, and they won't even listen to me. Oh, can't even come to me himself? What, he needs to requisition some more armor polish? All right, all right, keep it cool, Sean. So, what's he got to say to me? The problem is that a couple of these Brotherhood clowns showed up and took a bunch of my stuff at gunpoint. Now, I'm a peaceful man. I really am. I sure wasn't equipped to deal with armed thugs requisitioning the little I've managed to put together for myself. Never understood the Raiders. I like the quiet life. I don't need much, and I need trouble less. But after this, oh, I get it. I came here to give the Brotherhood a chance to make things right. Else, maybe, I'd go to Crater and start doing things their way. At least they don't pretend to be the good guys.
All right. And what else did you want? I'm a scavenger mainly. Always been pretty good with a set of tools, so I do all right for myself, scrapping and fixing things. I trade what I find or fix with the folks at Foundation when I need something I can't get otherwise. Mostly, I like to be left alone. Don't blow me off like I'm making this up. These people have a responsibility to fix this. They had the power armor, and they said they were Brotherhood. Sorry I didn't make sure to ask proof when they had me at gunpoint. Listen, I don't have much, but what's mine is mine. And these people took that from me. The Brotherhood pretends like they're noble, but then they let this happen? In their name? Raiders don't act like something they're not, and at least the gangs defend their own. Then tell them, and get them to do something about it. What the heck does Ad Victoria even mean? You looking at something? All this what is concrete, places like a tomb. Something I can do for you. Well, now look at you. You with these steel brother fellas. I've been waiting a good spell to talk to them. Longer than I'd prefer. These steel types ain't half disorganized right now, it looks like. Heard the news about these fellas and reckon I'd better go see him. Ain't the only one, neither, I see. Bombing such as it is. Got a patch ain't barely more than skull. <laughs> but it's mine. And I manage. Well, it's about time. I'd like to die of old age waiting on them. Name's Art Knapp. So, what's this night fella sent you for? A fair trade's what I want. I've heard stories about these steel types back in the day. <laughs> they was going around taking things from folks. For the cause, they said. Yeah, like that don't make them raiders too. Well, I ain't got much, and I already got to worry about raiders. So, I reckon it's better to make a deal up front. My farm don't produce much, but I got some extra. I expect they'll have a use for it. In return, I want these <laughs> steel boys and girls to keep raiders away from my farm. Heard a lot of noise they was on our side. So, seems fair. Fair enough. Can't expect more than that. Thank you. You take care, too. Make it quick, if you would. Yes. Something I can help you with? I am waiting to speak with a Brotherhood representative. I have no interest in small talk with strangers. Hey, hey, here comes trouble. I hope. Pardon my manners. I am out of practice. Too much time alone. Still, unless this is important, I would prefer to be left alone. The severe gentleman in the power arm, yes. Dr. Edgar Blackburn at your service. And what did Night Shin want to know? I had heard that the Brotherhood possessed advanced technology. As a doctor and a scientist, this was of great interest. My research is always in need of equipment and materials rather difficult to obtain by scavenging and bartering. I came to see if an arrangement could be made, but from what I can see of their operations, they are as yet still in too much disarray. Given the state of my fellow supplicants, I would hypothesize that their needs likely outweigh my own. Thank you. Be well. Hey, yeah, you. Who'd 
I need to talk to around here? Did you wish you to know, speak with me? about the guns? <laughs> you don't look like one of these brotherhood yahoos. Name's Tally Lang. What's your deal? Who, me? Nah. Nah, 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 nah. Cool as a cryo grenade, me. Definitely. I just told you, dummy. Tally Lane. Just uh, another chick trying to make it in the wasteland. You know? Shin? He the scary guy with the stick up his butt? All right, shoot. Ixnay on the air crate! You trying to blow this for me? Listen, my gang could really use those guns, so don't screw this up for me! Did you wish to speak with me? <sighs> if anybody asks, just pretend like you bought the act, okay? Yeah, that's right, big shiny guns. Now, all the talk in the area is about these Brotherhood folks Speech. with their high-tech toys, and I thought, Tally, you gotta get some of that. For self-defense, of course. Uh, just so me and, and some of my poor, innocent friends can protect ourselves from all the nasty folks out there. Okay, I get it. The promises backfire all the time. Well... Speak go get him, Tiger. Go away. I do not tolerate eavesdroppers. The California level is showing signs of maliciousness. Stay on your toes. The wasteland is merciless. Neil, have you finished the task I gave you? Good. Let's get this done. I have the list from their arrival. Give me the high level overview. The Brotherhood is not a charity, and our mission does not cover providing civilians with equipment to pursue their personal interests, unless the Doctor intends to provide that research to the Brotherhood exclusively, and under our supervision, he will get nothing. That shows commendable discipline. Scribe Valdez may have interest if he returns, but if so, he is her problem. That appears to resolve the matter on our end. Next report. The settlers want to rebuild. They're only looking no, we are not arms dealers. Is she? We would never have given her weapons. This only reinforces that. If you intend to be an initiate, I can't have any doubts about your loyalties. Don't ask will not be an acceptable answer in the future. Moving on. Impossible. Whatever happened, it was not us. There are countless brigands out there, civilian. It is not the job of the Brotherhood to hunt them down one by one for their crimes. I will say it bothers me to hear that someone is abusing the honor of the Brotherhood this way. But that does not change the facts. Mr. Hawkman's problems are his own, not ours. Give me your next report. We are not mercenaries here to serve as guards for anyone with some goods to trade in payment. This is not a charity. As a civilian, you are free to play hero for everyone that comes to you with a sad tale. The Brotherhood, however, has a duty to its mission, and that does not include playing bodyguard. I believe that accounts for everyone. Against my initial judgment, you have shown that you can take orders and make yourself useful for the Brotherhood. You need to lose those soft civilian instincts, but 
I will make note of your assistance in my report to Paladin Romani. Should you wish to join our ranks, I will not oppose your enlistment. I grant you permission, provisionally, to enter the compound proper. Go to our scribe Baldez. You will need her support as well if you want Paladin Romani's attention. What I am going to do is make the recommendations I see fit in my report to Paladin Romani. As the commanding officer, the final decisions will be hers. And your concern in the matter ends here. Be vigilant, outsider. New recruits, night shins training, weapons and a base like this, we're gonna be invincible. <laughs> Make a racket, and I'll revoke your access privilege. One day I'll make night, then I'll show those ringers who's the boss. We're building something big here. Don't get left behind. We could always use more initiates. As the Paladin, I am the commander of this unit, and I'm here to establish a foothold for the Brotherhood of Steel. It is important that we restore society. And the steps that you have already made here in Appalachia are admirable. However, without the power of the Brotherhood, you will be unable to prevail. I am eager to lend that power. I suppose I can set aside a quick moment to chat. I'm originally from the California branch of the Brotherhood of Steel. I was posted near Mariposa before the bombs fell, and I learned that some members of the U.S. military had created an organization to help people. As a member of the U.S. military, joining up with the Brotherhood was a natural transition for me. I was in the National Guard. Helping those who are less fortunate has always been a passion of mine. But being able to help protect my community was an experience I'll never forget. But now, my mission is to protect you and the other people of Appalachia. I, Elder Roger Maxson, is our leader back in California, and is the person who sent us on our mission to Appalachia. Sure. My mission in life is to help others and restore the world to what it once was. The Brotherhood of Steel is aligned with those goals. In addition to the preservation of technology, the resources that the Brotherhood can provide will assist me in accomplishing my mission. I will be at the forefront of rebuilding society. Sounds good to me. It's a beautiful land, and the people are resourceful. We will do everything we can to support them. All of us have taken the inoculation, but thank you for inquiring. It means a lot to me that the people of Appalachia care for the well-being of others. They've done well to build such capable communities on the broken bones of the old world. Foundation is charming, and I admire their workmanship. The people of Crater may be more complicated, but I refuse to judge their group based on our past encounters with raiders. Over time, I'd like to build a lasting relationship with both of these settlements. Ah, did I slip up again? Old habits die hard. I hope you'll be patient with us Westerners as we learn the local vernacular. Certainly, I'm here to listen. Absolutely. We are here to help in any way that we can, civilian. 
people of Appalachia. Brotherhood of Steel are your saviors, civilian. We are the guardians of human civilization. We bring order to the wasteland, something that it desperately needs. First and foremost, our mission is to restore society and preserve any technology that will assist us in that goal. In addition, we are currently investigating what happened to the previous Brotherhood members from Fort Defiance. It is important that we establish a new foothold here, which will allow us to aid the people of Appalachia. Sorry, civilian. That information is classified. Yes, there was a unit here led by Paladin Taggarty. We lost contact with the group shortly before their mission to attack the Scorched, and we are unsure of their fate. Regardless of what may have occurred, their selfless courage is commendable. I'd love to answer any questions that you may have. My mission in life is to help others and restore order to the world. The Brotherhood of Steel is aligned with those goals, in addition to the preservation of technology. I will be on the forefront of rebuilding society. I'm glad you're inspired by our mission. In order to fully accomplish our goals and establish a foothold here in Appalachia, we need to build up our ranks. If you're interested in recruitment, you can speak with my second. Night Shin. Sure. What would you like to talk about? Stay safe. Keep that armor in good shape. Life could depend on it. Robots everywhere, but all standard models. Surely there's something. Those kids we picked up are doing okay. What were their names again? It started with an M. My latest patrol. He is gonna love it. Ad Victorium. This is the armory. Scribe Valdez is upstairs at the workshop. I am a link in the chain that binds. That is what keeps this order together. It's great to see you again, friend. Listen. The Gladiators are grateful for all your help in the Metal Dome. We've come to think of you as one of the team. You face the same danger that we have, and you know the cost of gathering our intel. She says our information's vital to Fort Atlas's security. Heck, the scribe even said she'd put us up for a commendation if our methods were more accepted by the rest of the chapter. She's our best ally. She knows the risks we take to bring home that intelligence. The team worries that every operation will be their last. If the bots don't get us, <laughs> the leadership might pull the plug. I am a link in the chain that binds. That is what keeps this order together. We do the same thing we've always done. Take the risk if we think we can pull it off. But sometimes... It means withdrawing, if we don't think the odds are in our favor. We take some abuse from the Rust Eagles when that happens, but it gets them fired up for the next time we're there. Well, stay safe out there. We'll never turn you down if you want to join us at the Metal Dome.
I'm not sure I could stand the sight. What's the word from the wasteland? Hello, civilian. I don't mean to be rude, but what exactly are you doing up here? Oh, a prospective initiate. The Night Shin sent you. And I guess we're both in luck. Paladin Romani makes the call on new recruits, but the Knight and I have some influence. It just so happens I'm in need of someone to help me out on a little mission. If you're interested, I can bring you along and put you to work. Do a good job, and I'll send a recommendation your way. How about it? Our new base is littered with old technology, but there's something in particular I want to investigate. It's down in the bowels of this place, a, a part of Atlas that we've cornered off. I'm not keen on going alone, so I'd like some backup. Glad we can come to an agreement. Any questions before we start? Great. Unfortunately, I need to finish up a few things here. Head downstairs and I'll meet you in a bit. Staying safe out there. Good, you're here. So, how do you feel about reading comprehension? I was hoping to start out by sweeping the area for documentation left behind from before the war. Are you trying to get on my good side? Because that's how you get on my good side. But enough about that. I'd like to get started. Let's head downstairs and see what we can turn up.
Glad that's over with. Here's one. This looks like what we need. This must be Dr. Hammond, Atlas's lead scientist. We recovered some of his hollow tapes and logs in our initial sweep of the area. This tech down here is his handiwork, and he couldn't give it up. Even after the war, I should make arrangements for a proper burial. I think this is good. Let's talk for a sec. That should be enough to start. Let me take a look. Atlas decommission report. Hmm. So the project was in bad shape after all? Oh, I knew it sounded too good to be true. Fascinating. Wow. This is some seriously classified stuff that I just let you read, isn't it? I wasn't supposed to show you any of this. I guess you're right. There's only so much I can tell you, but I'll share what I feel is relevant. Atlas wasn't exactly an observatory before the war. That was just a front. The military conducted research here. Pretty advanced research. We're down here to investigate and see what's worth salvaging for the Brotherhood. I did ask you to help, after all. It's only fair you're prepared for what you might find. Now, let's follow up on some leads from this report. I'd like to do a quick inspection of some key components that should be nearby. There's probably a terminal around here. If it's still running, we can do a diagnostics test. That will tell us about some of the less accessible hardware. The report mentioned that the machine's intake pump was under a lot of pressure. Let's find the release valve for that and give it a spin, see what happens. Finally, the lower core on this level should have a wiring box. Why don't we take a glance at that to get an idea of the electrical hookups? Should be a simple inspection. You can have point, but I'll be looking over your shoulder the whole way. Take note of the details and we'll discuss how it goes after. Interesting. Looks like we've got company. Let's go. All right, let's go over the inspection results. The diagnostics check revealed some issues. Flux disruption in the induction loop. Intake valves ruptured. And the ion focus? Misaligned. Problematic to say the least. Next, we have the release valve. That went. Well, what was your assessment? 
It certainly did. I'm going to mark that down as bad. Last but not least, the wiring. The wires were... Yep. I think the warm reception they gave us also points to that. Okay. Well, sorry about the pop quiz. But in general, you're handling yourself well so far. Nobody does, outside of a classroom. That's why I love to evaluate new prospects this way. If I'm going to recommend you to Paladin Romani, I need to know you're serious. Can you pay attention? Think on your feet? If you can, you were in my favor. If you can't, then, well, maybe I reconsider my recommendation. I'm worried about what our inspection turned up. There are a few parts I'd like to extract and examine in my lab. There's the pressure gauge, the core processor, and the ion focus. They should be upstairs. There's a lot I can learn from examining them if we can pull them out and get them back to my lab in decent condition. I want to take some notes on the core up there, so I'm going to leave the parts removal to you. Each extraction will be a little different, but in general, you'll want to use a light touch. I want the components in good condition, so please be careful. Any questions, or are you ready to get started? A very important and technical component. It helps force particles into a beam that the machine could fire to affect the weather. Somehow. Could take a bit of manual dexterity to pry loose without any damage. brain of the machine. It's the component that coordinates all of the others. It should be slotted into a terminal somewhere. May take a little technical know-how to extract, but nothing you can't handle, I'm sure. You saw what happened when we tested the release valve. I want to examine the stress on the gauge. That could tell us if all that built-up pressure was normal or an anomaly. Oh, and you may have to pry it off, but be careful about it when the time comes. I'm counting on you. Let's see what you can do.
Can you pick up that induction coil up there on the machine core? Doesn't sound good. Do not attempt to flee. Justice will be administered swiftly and fairly. Whatever you did up there, the security system sure didn't like it. Thanks for the backup. I doubt I could have handled that on my own. Now that that's over with, let me take a look at what you've collected. The pressure gauge looks like it's in good condition. The core processor is pristine. Good work on that. The ion focus looks usable. Impressive. The induction coil seems fine. That's a relief. And what is this? Hmm. This is... Is this Ultrasight? <laughs> Fascinating. This looks like some kind of compact power source. None of the documents, none of the terminals said anything about this. Did this power the whole machine? The fuel of the future. I'd heard the stories, but... To think I could hold so much energy in my hands like this? <laughs> Project Atlas may be beyond our power to repair, but we might have something here. I expected the machine to use a small reactor's worth of energy. We... They condensed that into a container I can hold in my hands. Oh, 
I could do a lot with this. You were a big help. I'm sure you have what it takes to be an initiate. And soon. Here, take this letter to Paladin Romani. She'll make the final call on letting you into the Brotherhood, but my wreck may tip the scales. <laughs> I'm going back upstairs to take a look at these components. I need to catalog our findings. If nothing else, this ultrasight battery has piqued my interest. There's a lot I could learn from reverse engineering it. <laughs> oh, I'm giving you access to my private terminal, too. It has all the logs we recovered from when we moved in. After what we just went through, I think you deserve to know more about Project Atlas. Take a look if you get some free time. Thanks again for your help, and good luck with the Paladin.